Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to work a couple food web problems. As you know, a food web just shows how the energy is transferred from one individual to another. Let's look at a couple questions you may encounter on these. First, describe in this food web areas of competition. A secret to this is think V for victory. Whenever you have a V shape, you're going to have competition. So look at the rabbit here. Notice that the hawk and the snake are competing and look at what is formed. So the hawk and the snake are competing for the rabbit. Here again, look at the rabbit and the mouse. You have V for victory. Okay. Another one, you have the mouse, snake, and the hawk, again, competing. So that's the key is looking for V for victory. We have another one here. Okay. Up next is a 10% rule problem, and it states this. It says, if the producers, which you know are the wildflowers and the grass, grass have 100,000 kilocalories available, how many kilocalories are available for the hawk? Kilocalorie is 1,000 calories, and calories is how much energy it takes to raise the temperature of 1 gram, 1 degree Celsius. So it's basically a measure of energy. So the 10% rule says that for every trophic level you move, only 10% of the energy is transferred. So if you look at the grass, it goes from grass to rabbit, there's one trophic level. And then from the rabbit to the hawk, that is two trophic levels. So in order to solve this, I'm going to move this down here. You just, since you have two trophic levels, you take 100,000 times 10%, and that's going to equal 10,000. That's one trophic level. That gets you to the rabbit. And then you need to go another trophic level and you multiply it by 0 0.10 again. And that equals 1,000 kilocalories will be transferred to the hawk. So you'll see that you lose a lot of energy and a lot of this energy loss is when you go from the grass to the hawk is lost through heat. Okay. Next you have We'll go this way. We're going to look at a little bit different food web. And in this one, it says, again, it's a competition problem. Okay. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble getting this set up. Okay. It says, which animals compete for water fleas? Here's the water flea. And I'm going V for victory. So we have small fish and newt. Okay. Notice the shape. Small fish, diving beetle. So you have one, two, three different individuals competing for the water fleas. Okay. If you look at the small fish here, again, you have this shape, and you know that the um, heron and the perch are competing for the small fish. Okay. 